Hello beautiful people and today we are taking a look at the Danish legend, Rangers legend, Brian Laudrup. 16 games, 11 goals, a complete lie. I got disconnected from many a games, I reckon it's probably about 9 games, 11 goals, 6 assists. You can see his card stats there, he looks phenomenal, he's one of the cheaper end legends. He's not the most popular. He goes for about 400k. I paid 380 for him. But look at his stats. What's not to like about them? He's got everything you would need. Let's look at those in games though. 81 composure, 85 attacking positioning, 84 vision, 88 acceleration, 85 agility, 71 balance, 87 reactions, 87 sprint speed, and 81 stamina. Only 67 strength and 65 jumping little bit on the low side there. 88 ball control, 72 crossing, 78 curve, 90 dribbling, 84 finishing, 76 free kick accuracy, 81 long shots, 84 short passing, 77 long passing, 83 short uh, shot power, sorry, with 74 volleys. He is of course 6 foot 1 tall, 4 star skills, a 3 star weak foot, with those high low work rates. Now, he's on the cheaper end of the legends at 400k in terms of strikers. He's mid-tier, you know. You've got your Burkamps and your Weyers and Del Piero, if you want to consider him as a striker at the top end, going for about a million upwards. Then you've got players like Kleiber and Stoichkov just below in the second highest tier. Then you come down to the likes of Laudrup and who else? Vieri, Shearer, those sort of caliber of players. Where would Laudrup rate in those? He's good. I honestly don't know why he goes for such a low price. He hasn't got the most popular nationality, being Danish, of course, which is actually the reason I picked him up, because I needed that nationality and those strong links. But he's got really nice stats. He's fast. He's six foot one, which is, to find a fast player that's six foot one, you're normally looking at the likes of Bale and Ronaldo. And Laudrup, he played kind of similar to them. I don't want to say exactly because his strength is completely different to Ronaldo and Bale's obviously. Physically he is a little bit weak but because he's six foot one that kind of negates the strength aspect because he's got the long legs, he's got the reach and he's got the height to bring down balls. Also with his back to play he can still hold up defenders. You know how overpowered the left trigger is, it's stupid. He's fine for it. Finishing very nice except for his freestyle weak foot. His left foot is a little poor but if you get it onto that right foot he scores every time. Finesse shots are brilliant. Uh, low driven shots with his right foot, brilliant. Long shots, I don't really try long shots anymore. My game doesn't really revolve around them. Link up play, he's got fantastic short passing, fantastic long passing. Work rates are all you could want, high low, it's perfect. You don't want anything else for your strikers really, that's the ideal one. Running in behind, he has got more than enough pace of 88 and the agility and balance means he's actually very agile on the ball when it comes to dribbling. You're able to nip in and about, which again for a player that's 6 foot 1 is quite rare. In the air, he's only got like 71 heading accuracy I think, but he's surprisingly good given that 6 foot 1 height. You come up against a lot of fullbacks that are quite short and he will win those back post headers, those kind of chip balls into the box. Honestly, for 400k, if you're looking for a legend striker, I definitely recommend him. For that sort of money, there's no one better, but if you're not looking for a legend, you don't want a legend, don't bother. He's probably not worth it. But that's where we're going to leave it today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.